Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. This is physiology part of EMRCS. A 70 years old lady with metastatic breast cancer is admitted to a hospital. Confused and acutely unwell with nausea and vomiting. Her vital signs are within normal limit. What abnormality is most likely to contribute her this clinical condition? So first of all, in this question, they give an information that a 70 years old, that means an old is female, present with metastatic breast cancer. That means uh, the patient uh, breast cancer, which is metastasized to other organ. And uh, she admitted uh, with confusion and acutely unwell, nausea and vomiting, but vital signs are normal limit. What abnormality most contribute to her condition? As the vital uh, signs are limit, that means the functional abnormality, that means the structural and functional abnormality of the brain is intact. It uh, occurs due to other cause. Yeah, the options options are hyponatremia, hypernatremia, hypocalcemia, hypercalcemia, and hyperkalemia. So let's see some information regarding the question. First of all, here you can see uh, the causes of the hypercalcemia. The main cause, the malignancy, most common cause in hospital admitted patient is the malignancy. So malignancy is the main cause of the hypercalcemia. The explanation will be delivered later. Then we can see uh, primary hyperparathyroidism. It is commonest cause in non hospitalized patients. So, this two uh, portion is very, very important. The main cause of hypercalcemia in case of uh, hospital admission patients is due to metastatic cancer or malignancy. And non, non admitted patient, in case of non admitted patient, the cause of the hypercalcemia is primary hyperparathyroidism. And some less common complications are sarcoidosis then thiazide and lithium which is very rare immobilization that means uh, in uh, uh, RTA patient or other patient who are bed region for a long time in that case calcium may mobilize from the bones to the blood circulation then we can see paxet disease which is also cause of hypercalcemia vitamin A or D toxicity Thyrotoxicosis, mean syndrome, and milk alkali syndrome. So, these are also the cause of the hypercalcemia, but they are less common related to the malignancy and primary hyperparathyroidism. Here are the clinical features of the hypercalcemia stones, that means kidney stones, bones, means bone pain, abdominal growth, and psychic wounds. So they are the feature of the hypercalcemia. High serum calcium level result in decreased neural excitability. So this point also important. Uh, I have to remember that the where calcium level increases, it causes neuronal excitability decrease. That means the calcium is neurosedative. That means high level of calcium causes depression of the nervous system or reduce activity of the nervous system and also sluggish reflex muscle weakness and constipation occurs due to high level of calcium another important information the common site of metastatic breast cancer is to the bony site and so this point also important that the commonest site of metastasis in case of breast cancer it is to the bones so our patient 70 years female presents with breast cancer and it is metastasized that means it common site which is the bones so the breast cancer metastasized to the bones and now we have to see the metabolic effects uh, for metastasis of the breast cancer in the bone hypercalcemia often present in those with metastatic disease who are acutely unwell so in metastatic bone disease hypercalcemia is common let's see 
or why it is common. Here we can see the distribution of normal body calcium. So distribution of normal body calcium, it is more than 99% in the bone. So this point is very, very important. When the malignant tissue or malignancy, it is spread or metastasized to the bone, it causes the release of this 99% calcium from the bone to the circulation for this reason the metastasis to the mode it causes release of calcium from the bone to the blood circulation for this reason hypercalcemia occurs in those cancer who metastasize to the bones and 0.5 percent it present in the soft tissue and 0.1 percent it present in the extracellular fluid so very few amount present in extracellular fluid which is 0.1.5 percent is soft tissue and it the most area that means the most portion 99 percent more than it present in the bone so this information is very very important regarding this question so here the functions of the calcium there are some important function it helps in bone mineralization because as the bone contains more than 99% calcium, it requires calcium. And this calcium uh, is turned into the bone and causes mineralization. Then muscular function, it causes muscle contraction, control neuromuscular excitability. That means it is neurosedative, release of neurotransmitter, help in coagulation and the release of some important hormone acts as intracellular second messenger in transmembrane signaling so they are the function of the calcium and uh, the most well known function is bone mineralization but other function usually uh, we forget but uh, we have to remember this function also then here we can see the uh, another part uh, it is a total diffusible and total non-diffusible that means it, these two parts total plasma calcium that means the minimum portion present in the ECF which is 0.1 percent among them this percentage present in two types one is the total diffusible that means it is functionally active and total non-diffusible which is protein bound and here we can see total diffusible that is the active calcium it is about 5.36 and total non-diffusible it is about 4.64 so total plasma calcium is 10 and now our answer is ready it is the hypercalcemia why it is hypercalcemia because here we can see a 70 years old female presents with the metastatic breast cancer that means breast cancer is metastasized and it is known to us that the breast cancer is commonly metastasized to the bone and bone is the storehouse of the calcium so the cancer tissue release the calcium from the bone into the circulation for this reason hypercalcemia develop and here we can see patient is confused and acutely unwell because the calcium is neurosedative that means it causes decreased function of the neuron in the central nervous system which causes confused and acutely unwell with nausea and vomiting but vital sign is within the normal limit because the vital sign is usually not controlled by the calcium such as the uh, pulse blood pressure uh, respiration usually they are not uh, directly involved the calcium for this reason the vital sign is within the normal limit and so it is now ready that the our answer is the hypercalcemia and this calcium is released from the bone because the bone is filled with cancerous tissue which is from the breast cancer. Thank you all.